What's up nail geeks? Today I have a few polishes from Polish Pickup December and the theme is Enchanted Forest. First up is Blush Lacquer's Little Maroon Ride Riding Hood. The inspiration is our favorite forest dwelling fairy tale character Little Red Riding Hood. Description is a maroon based hollow with hollow flakes. Price is at $11.50 and there is a 150 bottle cap on this pretty formula on this one is on the jelly side it does apply very rich and very jello like and I want to note that I think this one really does depend on your number of coats for um, just how maroon it's going to come off if that makes sense I found that at two coats I had perfect opacity I couldn't see my smile line and even taking my hand away from my light box I felt like it just it looked perfect and I was perfectly happy with it I will say that if you do choose to go to three coats you will see that darker maroon base come out to play more otherwise if you stop at two coats I think it's gonna take on more of a rich almost raspberry sort of color the holographic effect is linear and those holographic flakes in there just add that little extra sparkle on your nails. This is super pretty and I could see it making a great polish for a holiday manicure. Up next we have Cameo Colors. This is Keebler Paradise. The inspiration is the Elven Tree and the description is a deep mossy green base with a magnetic golden shimmer full of silver holographic micro flakes and red to bronze to copper ultra chrome flakies. Price is at 11 and there is an 80 bottle cap on this one. That is 8-0. Formula on this one is on the medium side. It applies very rich, very opaque, and very, very smooth. The base color is this gorgeous, very Keebler green color. And on the second coat here, I am using an arc magnet and I'm holding it for roughly 40 to 45 seconds per nail. And I get this beautiful almost subtle golden magnetic effect in person you can definitely see it a lot better i think my bright lights are kind of toning down um, how prominent that magnetic particles look on the overall finish but it really really captures the inspiration in my opinion and the flakes in here are kind of medium sized they're not too big and they're definitely not subtle they give a really nice contrast against everything else that's going on here and almost like a scattered sparkle, super pretty. And next we have Crystal Knockout. This is Oracle of the Grove. The description is in a vivid pink base with red gold aurora, purple iridescent flakies, green UCC flakes, red to gold micro flakies, green to gold chameleon micro glitter, gold flakies, and purple and orange hollow micro glitter. There is a post in the Polish Pickup fan group where you can see the inspiration photo. I think it really ties into her brand as well. It's very, very pretty. Um, there is a cap of 60 bottles on this one and the price is at 12. Now the formula on this one does fill on the light side. It built up to opacity for me at three coats. I feel like this one would make a fantastic um, double work here as a topper as well as a polish worn on its own. I really enjoyed that there is a very, very brilliant golden shift on this one in person. And I think on my macro shots, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It just, it, I, it's that Aurora pigment and it just gives a really pleasant glow on extreme angles and shaded lighting. This one is super sparkly. I had no issue whatsoever picking up all of those wonderful, wonderful goodies in this polish. And it almost has, I dare say, a bit of an, almost a foil effect to it. There's just a slight bit of reflection back at you. It's really, really interesting. It's a complex polish and that base color is a super, super flattering pink. Um, even for a warm toned gal like myself, I think it looked really nice on me. And once again, lots of sparkle. After top coating, I did not have any texture. Next up is Lemming Lacquer, Equinox. Inspiration is inspired by what I see in my mind while listening to Rabbit Heart by Florence and the Machine, a spring meadow with pink and purple flowers glowing with sunlight. 
Description is a grassy green with fiery shifting shimmer and purple, blue, gold, orange, pink iridescent flakes. Price is at $13 and there is a 125 bottle cap on this one. Formula feels very, very jello like to me, very squishy, um, very buildable. Um, it's kind of on the medium to light side. On this first coat here, it does start off just a touch, um, I dare say, patchy. And on the second coat, I had almost full opacity with it. Now, I did kind of make that first coat kind of thin, hence um, the appearance that you're seeing here. But on the second coat, I went in kind of normal wise and I was able to pick up all of those wonderful, wonderful flakies very easily on the brush. I had no issue whatsoever, as you're seeing here, with them laying down flat. And I went in for that third coat and I had 100% opacity at this point and it just really brought out that super rich green color. The copper flakies in there just really, really give a nice, just, hey, look at me, just a wonderful con contrast against um, just everything overall. It, it kind of warms up the color, so to speak. It, the green does have a, a bit of a cool tone almost to it, and then those flakies just kind of liven up the whole thing. After top coat, I did not have any texture issues whatsoever. Everything laid down nice and flat for me. Next up, we have Moonflower Polish. This is La Isla de Encanto. The inspiration is the colors of the Puerto Rican parrot and the rainforest because they are known as the Isle of Enchantment and uh, Nadia couldn't think of a better way or in a more enchanting forest to use for her inspiration. Description is a dark green base with green to blue multi-chrome sparkle on one angle and a contrasting indigo to purple to red shimmer at other angles. Now, per, um, per the maker's instructions, the most intense multi-chrome shift will stamp over black or some type of dark polish. So here I'm stamping with a Moyu London Plate 03 for the holiday set, if you're curious. It picked up very easy for me. What you're seeing here was that first attempt on stamping, and I'm using an ultra squishy stamper from Lantern and Wren. Wearing it on its own, it also gives just a really nice vampy multi-chrome appearance, and I did go in for two coats, and I had full opacity. I did have full opacity at the first coat on its own, but I do have quite a bit of damage on my nails right now and little patches here and there, hence why I have been needing just a little bit more coverage. If you're careful and you don't have any ridges on your nails, I could definitely see most being able to get away with one coat. On my blog post on my macro shots, I think you can see um, just that shift over the both white and black on the stamped part. Um, definitely stamping kind of, it almost like it, it comes off thinner than wearing it by itself. So you'll definitely see a very rich purple to blue shift um, and various other warm colors on extreme angles when stamped. Next we have Night Owl Lacquer. And I'm gonna say this wrong, <laughs> don't kill me. This is uh, Schmebulok. I need to check out this cartoon apparently. The inspiration is the forest from the show Gravity Falls, specifically the adorable gnome, Schmebulok. <laughs> the description is a top-leaning gray crelly with charcoal flakes, top micro flakies, blue to green, and red copper gold green shifting crystal chameleon flakes. Price is at $12, and there is a, a range in the cap between 288 to 315 bottles. Formula on this one has a medium to light feel. On that first coat, I did have wonderful coverage, and then on the second coat, it just really, really built up very quickly for me. This one is absolutely loaded with rainbow flakies all over it, and it, it warms up the overall cool-toned appearance of that base. Now, if you are warm-toned or deep-toned, then definitely this is gonna lean a little bit more like a neutral, um, on our skin tone. I think those flakies really just really liven up this specific shade. So if you typically avoid neutrals and whatnot, I dare you to try this one. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that in person, there's just so much more to see here. I was very pleased with my macro shots 
on my blog post, um, you can definitely see just how many flakes are in this bad boy. I was also super entertained with that really monstrous one that I was able to pull up on my middle nail here and I was like, we're gonna keep this one, period, the end. The last polish I have to share today is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited, The Path of Leaf Resistance. Inspiration is a picture of a forest submitted from the fan group. And the description is, it starts off with a turquoise jelly base with a healthy dose of multi-chrome pigment that shifts from green to gold to blue. Add to that a mix of eight UCC flakies and crystal chameleon flakies and all topped with silver holographic pigment and micro flakies to give a little bit more sparkle. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 100 bottles on this. I do want to note that the bottle that you are seeing in this video is her brand new style of bottles. It's a little bit slimmer and it holds the same amount of polish as the previous bottles. So formula on this one definitely has a true jelly feel to it. That first coat starts off just a touch sheer, but it builds up to opacity fairly quickly. I do feel like the flakes in this one are quite a bit large and they pick up very easily on the brush and I'm happy to report that they didn't give me any issues with texture or any um, odd surface to my nails whatsoever. Now this one in person, you're going to see it how you're seeing it on the video here. There is a very strong golden glow on the depth to it, the overall look and then there's this foresty green on the outline. Now in shaded lighting and on tilt, you're going to see this really, really nice blue shift light up. It's reminiscent, in my opinion, of the Unicorn P sibling pigment. I do want to note it, that pigment is not in this polish, but the shift is very similar to it. So it's got this green and then on tilt, it's just it just lights up with this really, really pretty intense blue. Overall, there's lots of sparkles to be seen here and it's just super, super flattering. Now, Polish Pickup Enchanted Forest theme will open up December 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and will run through December 10th at midnight Eastern Time. I do want to remind you guys there is no pre-order this month due to the holidays and trying to get these packages out to you at a reasonable time with the holiday shipping going on. So please keep in mind that there are tons and tons of caps on a lot of these polishes. My blog post breaks it down just a little bit easier for you guys so there's not so much of an information overload. I'll also link the shop link below for you guys so you can start getting those wish lists together. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.